Right you guys, got another video here for you. This can save your old unsupported PC. CD Key Sales is the sponsor of this channel. And again, if you're looking to extend the life of your old unsupported PC, then purchasing something like a Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2021. If you purchase this key, you can then use it to activate uh, the Enterprise LTSE 2021 version. Now you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases. This will be for £7.64, which is around about $10 if you live in the US. So what's the catch? Well, if you are looking to download an ISO file, this is where things get a bit tricky. Microsoft's website does have uh, evaluation versions which you can download. Uh, and this is the versions right here. You may be thinking you could just pop onto this website and download the ISO file, just like I'm showing you right here. Unfortunately, these have a 90 day evaluation uh, period. So once that's over, you will need to reinstall the operating system. There is no way of activating these versions of Windows. They are meant for 90 day uh, use and that means they used in virtual machines and other things like that now there is a way around it where you can change the SKU files and add them to it to make it a full version but that's for another video once you've registered your account because assuming you are a company because this is what this is normally designed for it's not really designed for home users but they do offer the ISO files here as a 90-day evaluation which you can use as a trial version like I said you can convert these to full versions, but again, you would have to have the SKU files to be able to upgrade uh, to a full version. You can't activate a version like this using a key. It's not going to work. So this is a big problem. So now you can see here the prerequisites. It will tell you right here on their website, if you take the time to read it, it says a product key is not required uh, for this software. And there's also some information on here as well, which tells you about it being a 90 day trial. So where do you get the ISO files from? This is what a common uh, question is online. And unfortunately, if you are looking to put this onto your home computer, unless you know someone in a workplace that has access to ISO files, you will need to download one off the internet. You'll just have to do a search for that ISO name and there'll be ISO files all over the internet people have uploaded them now this is the big problem you will see that i have a warning sign up on there and that's because this is the actual uh, trial version you are not going to be able to click on this right here and activate this version it's not going to work this is a valuation version and it's not allowed to be activated it doesn't have all of the correct files for it to be activated so again if you try to put your key inside here it's not going to work and then, of course, people are going to start complaining about the keys don't work. And this is where the problems are going to start. Down the bottom, you'll see it also says that this evaluation license has expired. This is another big problem that people will run into. They'll download versions like this and it's already expired. And you're not going to be able to activate it. So what can you do? Well, you're going to have to find a full version of this to be able to activate it with the keys that you're purchasing. And this is going to be uh, what you're going to have to do. This also only gives you up to 2027. But what you could do is pay $30 to Microsoft to continue to receive updates for another year, which will take you into 2026, which means you're only gaining an extra year. So what about the IoT versions that everyone talks about? So let's be clear, the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021, you cannot obtain a legitimate product key for Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. These keys are part of a volume licensing program and are not available for home users. So if you're seeing people talking about this online, these are pirated keys or they are using pirated methods to activate these versions that you cannot buy a key even from third party sellers so that is the end of iot versions yes it does have support up until 2032 but you will not be able to do it legitimately to activate uh, windows 10 enterprise ltsc 2021 you will need a product key 
which you can purchase from either Microsoft or third party resellers and you would activate this in a normal way. So this is different compared to the IoT versions that you see people talking about, which will have life up until 2032. Microsoft can change that slightly during that period. But again, you will be stuck on 21H2 version for that period. You will not receive any feature updates. The same goes for Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2021. You will not get feature updates on these versions. So when you do your updates, you will still receive security updates for both of these versions throughout that time, but you just won't receive any feature updates. So you will see all of these updates keep coming down every time there's a bug fix. Microsoft push these updates out just like home users and pro users get. You'll get the same privilege with the uh, LTSC versions and IoT versions. Unfortunately, the IoT versions are not available for home users. Okay, so let's take a look at Windows 10 LTSC 2021. So you can see it's a ripped down version of a normal version of Windows. It doesn't have all of the pre-installed bloat that comes with other versions like Home and Pro. It works the same way as a normal version of Windows, this one. And you can see here Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. You'll notice the version is 21H2 and that will stay like that until end of life. You will not receive any more versions or feature updates for this version of Windows you will still receive all of the security updates. You'll notice that there is no trial period here. That's because we're using a full version of Windows. Unfortunately, ISO files are not freely available from Microsoft. You will need to either know someone in the IT department who has an ISO file for this version that works in an industry or business, or you would have to take your chances and download an ISO off the internet from one of those sites that you can do a search for. You just do a search for that version of Windows and an ISO and you will come to loads of different sites. Whether you use those ISOs is entirely up to you. It's always a risk. Activating this version of Windows, you would do that in a normal way as you would do any other version of Windows like Windows Home and Windows Pro. You click change the product key. You put in your product key inside here and you would go next. It will connect to the activation servers and it will basically activate your version of Windows. Now, the license key that you're going to get will be a 25 uh, digit key that you're going to put inside here and you would go through and activate it in a normal way. So just put the key in and click next. And then when you finished all of this, it will say your version of Windows has been activated. And this is basically how it works. So you may be wondering, can you upgrade from Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC to the IoT version if you do an in-place upgrade? Unfortunately, that activation will not carry over and you will not be able to use that version of Windows on your PC. It's a different key altogether. It's a volume key, so it's not going to work. So Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2021 has up until uh, January 12th, 2027. I guess the simple way to put it would be to buy this key would cost, say, $10 and a bit, or you can pay $30 to have extended support with Microsoft up until October 2026, which means $30 or $10 really would be the difference. So you choose which op option is uh, best for you. Again, if you've already got an installation with Windows 10 Home or Pro, you won't need to reinstall. We won't need to do anything like that. You could just continue to use it for 30 bucks, or you can reinstall the whole operating system and put Windows 10 Enterprise LTSE 2021 on. And again, it's going to give you probably a couple of more months uh, and a couple of weeks longer than what it would cost just to stay with what you've got and pay the support charge. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the life cycles. Now, obviously, this is the version that everyone wants because this has a life cycle of up to uh, 2032, as you can see right here. And that's very appealing to a lot of people. But remember, you are going to be stuck on 21H2 right up until 2032. And that's basically what you're going to be using. So that is already an old version of Windows. And what you might find happening is later on down the line, in a couple of more years' time, you're going to find software companies will not allow you to use that software on old versions of Windows like this because it's now getting out of date. 
And of course, this was never designed for home use. It was designed for businesses. And basically, it's for devices that don't have any running software on there. It just basically does a purpose. It uses third-party proprietary software, which is going to work with that version of Windows. And that's basically what it is. So if you're going to be downloading Steam, Steam might not even work in five years' time on this version of Windows. Or your antivirus might not work in five years' time on this version of Windows. And you've got to go right up until 2032. So it might not last you as long as you think it will without running into problems. I already know that 2019 version uh, had issues with uh, RGB software and other software that I was trying to install on it. It said it was outdated and it won't work with this version of Windows. It needs to be updated. So these are the problems that you could face later on down the line if you are using this version of Windows. So what is the benefits of Windows 10 LTSE 2021? Well, there's no Copilot AI, no Microsoft Store, but this can be installed. No Cortana, no Recall, no WSA, no Sandbox, no Widgets. Legacy apps are all installed on here. No Xbox and no Bloat and it's supported until 2027, like we've already mentioned. The IoT version has exactly the same, but you're going to have also support up until 2032. But again, you would not be able to legally be able to activate that version of Windows. You can check out all of this information on Microsoft's website. They go into great detail of what Windows IoT Enterprise is, and also basically what LTSE versions are as well. It goes through great detail on their website. You can take a read of that information as well. So I guess the question is, is Windows 10 LTSE 2021 worth it? I guess it, the difference is 20 bucks basically, paying Microsoft $30 or paying $10 for a key. But you're probably going to have to reinstall all your Windows. And again, it's going to be a bit of a headache. So is it worth it? To me, it probably wouldn't be. Uh, but what would be worth it is for a lot of people, which would be using IoT version, which will give you up until 2032. But we already know the answer to that. It's not possible in a legit way. So there you go. There's your answers. I hope this video has been some sort of helped you and understand some of the benefits and some of the downfalls and some of the pitfalls of what you're going to be facing towards the end of October 2025. The choice will be yours at the end of the day. Remember, you've got Linux as well. If you're a light user and you just use it for YouTube, emails and stuff like that, then Linux is going to be perfectly fine. If you're a hardcore user and you want to play games and all that sort of stuff and have proprietary software like Photoshop, it's probably not going to be for you. Other than that, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this clears things up and helps you understand your options. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.